Okay, today we're going to go over a couple quick features on the Kyocera Dura XT. Um, most of the menus here should be uh, similar, if not identical, to um, some of the other uh, Dura devices. Uh, the first thing that we'll do is take a look at the device from the outside here. You can see it's got a large, uh, pretty large display. Um, on the top left corner there, that's your signal strength indicator, so I've got a uh, full signal here. Uh, to the right of that is a, an arrow, uh, almost looks like a greater than sign. Um, that is your direct connect notification uh, to let you know if you have direct connect available. Uh, if it was not available, there'd be a line through it. Uh, you can then see that there almost looks like um, uh, three... Um, arrows to, uh, to the top right corner of that, that is an indicator that the speakerphone is turned on. Now if you look at the top of the device, there's a button here and that's speakerphone on off toggle and then this is your call list uh, toggle for your outside display. So if I tap that, I can then come back to the screen. It's a little bit tough to see, um, but there is a line that goes through that and I'll tap it back on and so you can see D Direct Connect speaker mode is now on, and there's no line through that um, that additional icon. Uh, to the right, then, there's a uh, voicemail uh, message indicator. Um, to the right of that, that's your GPS uh, signal is on, um, is on on the device. And then to the right of that is your battery strength indicator. So i got a full battery here, then I've got my time. Uh, if I had any missed alerts, it would uh, let me know that on the, the front of this device as well. So if I come over here on the side of the device, you get your volume up. And down you have your direct connect button here's your uh, outlet for uh, to plug power in on the other side of the device you've got um, your outlet for your um, headset uh, you've got your three megapixel camera with flash on the back the battery compartment is um, sort of protected here so you have to slide across try to do this with one hand here to remove um, and then underneath the battery there, there is a slot for a micro SD card. So we'll come back here. We'll lock that back in place. Now if we open up the device, uh, we'll see, uh, you know, your normal phone buttons. There is a dedicated camera button here that will take you into a camera menu. Take just a second for this to zoom in. So you, have, you can go to d jump directly into camera, camcorder, or your photos that are stored on the device. Um, then we come back here and we can hit the back button. Um, there's a dedicated speaker uh, to toggle on off. If I tap that it'll let me know the direct connect speaker mode is off and then tap it again direct connect speaker mode is on. Um, what we'll so for on this on the device here we'll take a look at the icons on the inside of the screen. They're a little bit easier to see than the outside. I try to get this zoomed in perfectly here. Uh, top left again is your signal strength indicator. The green light arrow is an indicator that there is direct connect. Um, the speakerphone is on is the additional icon on top of the direct connect there. You'll see here if I turn the speaker off it will now turn red. So it's a little bit uh, easier to, to see that um, when the screen is open. Voicemail indicator, time and uh, battery. And then you also have these two options at the bottom of the screen and those are going to indicate whether you use your soft key here or here to uh, access either of those two menus. So I'm going to turn speakerphone mode back on and it's on. We'll hit done. A couple of things to be aware of on this device is going to be a little bit different than if you're a traditional um, uh, Nextel Direct Connect user is uh, in the menu, if you go into settings, you can come down here and go to DC settings. So the first thing that you'll notice is that you now have the ability to turn Direct Connect off. So if I tap on there, it gives me a little warning screen there about turning off Direct Connect. I don't want to do that, but you know if you're on call during the day um, and then and you don't want to get uh, Direct Connect calls at night or something like that, you can uh, turn it off manually on the device. You do have to remember to go back and turn it back on. Um, one thing that is nice here, call alerts. If you go into alerts, uh, then the next screen here says um, repetition. Now if I come back here and I click on repetition, if I go to alert every, I can have it set to constant. So I'll give you an idea of how that works. So if I set constant as an option on the device, and I'll come over here on another one of my devices, and I'm going to 
Send a call alert. Now this device gets a call alert. And you can see that it does not, it will not stop until I ignore. So if you, um, have get very important direct connects and you you can't afford to miss uh, you know in some type of emergency situation uh, it would probably be beneficial for you to go in here and set it to constant because it, it will not stop beeping the default is 15 seconds so if you miss a call alert it will uh, re-alert you uh, every 15 seconds if direct connect is not a um, uh, it, it, you can always set the the alerts to 30 seconds or one minute or five minutes. Um, but if it's a mission critical uh, type of situation, you may want to set it on constant because there would be no way that you could sleep through that or miss it or, you know, if you walk away from your phone, it's going to constantly be uh, alerting you. But by default, it is 15 seconds. So we'll go back. Um, one thing that is nice here is that you can change the settings on the Direct Connect uh, device. So One Touch DC. Uh, the first choice here will allow you to launch Direct Connect Call Log List. So uh, that is the default setting. So if you tap on that, it will take you into your Direct Connect Call Log. Um, you can also set it to Launch Contacts List. So if you push the Direct Connect button, it will automatically launch your contacts list. You can select one individual. So if you um, are constantly communicating with a single individual via Direct Connect um, or group, you can set that from your contact list. So if you select this option, it'll take you into your contacts. You'll select that per that person or that group. Now, every time you push your Direct Connect button, that's going to queue up that person or that group. So this is probably not a default option that most people want to use, but it's a, it's an option in there nonetheless. Uh, and then DC your most recent number. So if I'm in a conversation with a particular individual uh, and we hang up, um, you know, just depending on the way that you use Direct Connect, it, it might be beneficial for you that um, anytime by default when you push the Direct Connect button, it will queue up the last person that you spoke to. Again, this is probably more of a specialized situation. I think that the first two are probably um, your most logical. If everyone in your contact list has a Direct Connect number, then it might be logical to use your launch contacts list as a um, as your One Touch DC feature. Um, but for most people, launch your DC call log list will probably be the the most logical thing to use. You can also just turn it off. Um, in that case, until you get a user on your screen that has a, a, a number associated with it, you the Direct Connect button is essentially not doing anything. So I'll leave it at Direct Connect Call Log List and I'll show you a... So that, that's the setting there and I'll show you basically what happens. So when I touch my Direct Connect button, it brings up my Call Log List now and I can go through um, my recent Direct Connects. As you can see with the new um, Sprint Direct Connect, you can have a phone number or your traditional uh, radio number like you have on Nextel. Um, everything works uh, essentially exactly the same, so I can come here, and if I want to do message alert, I'll tap message alert, alert the person, push Direct Connect button, and you can see that I've gotten the response from the person. So I can come over here. I have this device set for every 15 seconds, so I'll just take a pause here just to let you see what the difference was when... Uh, we had the constant alert on versus the 15 seconds. So there's your 15 second alert. Now I will ignore. Come back over here to this device. So one thing that you'll notice is when the clamshell is closed um, and you push the direct connect button, it will still bring your recent DCs up on the screen, which is a nice feature. Um, and then you can also use the history button that's right here. Um, which will bring up your entire call history, not just your direct connect. So it sort of gives you two features here from a closed screen. Um, you have the option to, um, with the with the call log button, you can see all of your your voice calls and your direct connect calls. And then with the One Touch DC, oh, I'm accidentally I'm, I'm queuing up somebody there. Uh, you can also um, recall all of your recent DCs. Now, uh, by default, out of the box, the key guard is turned on. So uh, the outside buttons will not bring up your call log list unless you turn off the key guard. So in order to do that, you're going to go to menu, 
Then we come over here to settings, and we come over here to key guard, and by default it will be on, so you have to turn it off in order to use that one touch DC and then that call log feature with the clamshell closed. Um, you know, depending on how you carry the device, this could cause you to accidentally queue up people from your pocket. So uh, if you carry a belt clip, it's probably pretty safe to turn off the key guard. Uh, however, it's in your pocket, you might want to think about, um, uh, you know, the potential for accidentally queuing up somebody. But I think that it's a it's more beneficial to have the key guard off and have access to um, your call logs um, and your DCs from the with the phone being closed. Um, you know, especially if you work outside or if you're, uh, you know, in a fast-paced environment where you need to make a DC call uh, rather quickly, it's probably a lot nicer for you to have that than um, to have to open up the phone and to queue somebody up. So I think that is going to do it for now. Uh, that's the Kyocera Dura XT. Again, most of the um, uh, settings menus that you saw here are going to be exactly the same on the, the Dura Max, Dura Core, and Dura Plus, uh, obviously with the exception of not having the camera on um, the DuraCore and the, and the Dura Plus. If you uh, need any further information, if you go to sprint.com slash learn, uh, there'll be a drop down menu on the left hand side of the screen. You can select Kyocera, that will queue up uh, on your computer screen all of the Kyocera devices. You can click on those to get some frequently asked questions uh, as well as have access to a uh, PDF copy of the user guide for the device.